stream, and we're going to go ahead and start ourselves some Mass Effect 2. I'm trying a new thing now where you get to look at my face like all big, nice, and pretty before I really get things kicked off, so how about that? Now you can really see how how gross I am. All right, enough of that. There we go. Let's get uh, let's get our Mass Effect loading up here, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited. I love. I've been over it before. I love. I love, love, love Mass Effect. Um, and I am stoked to be starting number two, which is. Uh, I I don't know. I think there's a case to be made that two is the best one of the series. Um, I think it's solid, and it's not marred by people being grumpy about the ending. Um, it's an improvement upon the first one in most ways, um, with only a couple things that really detract from it. So, away we go. Away we go. I am stoked about this. This is going to be fun. Look at all of the people that are can, that can be our friends. We have so many friends available to us in this one. It's so great. It's so great. So much fun. Ah, yes, that's right. And two was when they switched the color scheme from blue to red, um, which is always fun and exciting. Um, now, I'm hoping, because I'm using the Legendary Edition, I'm hoping that uh, it'll be pretty easy to import our last Shepherd uh, into here. If not, we can just do I'm pretty sure that this will come with the... the um, like the the save creator or whatever thing they have where you can like make your decisions and stuff but first off we have to as always go to our options and see what we're set here yeah full screen yeah because I've got 1080p monitor all kinds of that crap here on for everything the frame rate cap yeah that's gonna be based upon my monitor so yep okay we've got all this all the stuff maxed out calibration I don't, do we even need that um, brightness, let's see here. So they're going to want me to lower it, I would think, to make that 7 visible. Um, yeah, just looking at what they want here. But honestly, I think it looks pretty good at neutral right now. So we're going to do that. Um, auto for that, and that's, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's all good. Uh, sound, usually this is where... Okay, ne never mind, that's good. Controls and key bindings, those can be, f those. I'll just learn how it is. Or I won't, and that'll be fine. Um, combat difficulty. Um, uh, who are familiar with shooters and RPGs, this is the baseline Mass Effect 2 experience. That right there means I'm going to keep it right there, um, but because I'm curious, I want to see what other options they have here. Insanity. Well, the incentive for players seeking the ultimate challenge. Enemies are tenacious, react quickly, have heavily upgraded weapons and use their powers mercilessly. This mode is only recommended for players who have completed the game on hardcore difficulty. Um, and increasing and then casual is like there's no thing. So I'm going to leave it on normal because they themselves have described it as being the baseline Mass Effect 2 experience. So for me with difficulty, and I've kind of talked about this before, but well, as we're, as we're getting ready to dive into this one, I can kind of have that discussion and talk about my take on it because everyone is always looking for you know people love people love hot takes on game difficulty um, if you're wondering why, why I occasionally look down I'm I'm sitting here like a super villain with my cat on my lap so I'm just like petting my cat as I discuss these things like I say like a super villain um, but uh, so with difficulties you know and especially it comes up whenever there's a new FromSoft game you know a new Souls like game my take on difficulty is that no one should ascribe any sort of pride to playing things on a certain level of difficulty or whatever like some people do. I feel like that's a silly thing to be hyper focused on. Um, and as far as challenging goes, like increasing the difficulty on things, my take is that I am habitually frustrated by games that add what I tend to refer to as artificial difficulty things that don't actually change the nature of the game just make it more unfair for the sake of adding difficulty um, and so my number one pet peeves with that are when difficulty is just simply they reduce the damage that your weapon does 
increase the health that your enemy has, decrease the health that you have, things like that. They don't actually change the nature of how the game is played, but really just make it so that things are more unfair. You know, make it so that if I were to pick up a gun and an AI were to pick up the same gun, they would do more damage with it than I would. Like, that's the type of difficulty that I just don't have any interest in. And unfortunately, with most games, that's usually what the increased difficulty ends up being. And a lot of that is just because they have limited time and resources to really invest on making a thoughtfully balanced level of difficulty for any given game. They don't have the time to add puzzles or add steps to things, you know, or, or actually properly balance. They basically will design the game with a specific difficulty in mind and then from there just take a few sliders and move them up and down and to me that just it just doesn't feel fun that feels unfair either in my favor or against me depending on if I go easier or more difficult so basically what I always do is I always play on whatever the like normal or conventional or baseline difficulty is for any game um, I don't want them to make it easier on me because then it just makes it unfair in my favor, nor do I want them to just artificially make it unfair against me. So that's why I always do that. Um, like if a game were to have a very thoughtful approach to how it does difficulty, you know, like editing the puzzles in meaningful ways that make them more of a challenge for me to figure out, things like that, I would be more on board with that you know if it were to be that ammo is more scarce but not impossible to find in certain areas I'd be on board with that things like that but that just typically speaking if those things exist they are only one facet of the difficulty conversation and so it just makes most sense to me to leave things on the normal difficulty which is what we're going to do here auto save 100% on subtitles always on always on so that way I can catch back up if I miss what someone said and I need to react to it Squad power used to John. Definitely on. Yep. Um, this is just... So auto level up. We could do squad only. Um, and we can do squad and player. Um, I am going to do squad only. Uh, and that's just going to be to be a time saver. Um, I, you know, I did it with Mass Effect 1 where I just would auto level up all of the, all of the squad mates. Um, and I'm going to do that here as well. Just because I don't want to be spending hours and hours fussing over little things like that. Um, it's not interesting to viewers. And frankly, I've done it enough that it's not really interesting to me either. I've done it enough in past playthroughs to n understand that for what I'm interested in getting out of the game, it just isn't going to be a meaningful part of it. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on for, um, for squad only. Uh, but there we go. So there's our gameplay settings. There's everything that we need. Um, let's go back. Let's go new game. Import ME1 character. Tallulah, level 52. She is joining us. We're going to do it. We're absolutely going to import Tallulah. All right. Um, yeah, and we've already got our difficulty settings set where we want them. Uh, yep, yeah, name is good. Rank 52, sure. Military specialization, infiltrator, yep. Paragon, that makes sense. Status of Rex, he survived. We didn't get that bastard killed. Uh, Caden was killed on Vermeer. That's right, we we got we let him we let him play the martyr. And the council was saved. I think that all looks good. And here we go, man. Here we go. We're into it. What a good day to start it too. I'm I'm not at work, so if I decide I wanted to you know, I don't have to work today, so if I decide we wanna, if we decide we wanna just keep going with it, then we can. We have that freedom. We will have that freedom. Ah yes. Ah yes. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth, and still, it's not enough. The elusive man and his weird no cigarettes. It, is under they made sure to give all of the details in his hand, but not his cigarette. Geth. Weird. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's so I'm gonna go ahead and lay out one of my biggest hot takes of this um, of playing this game. Um, 
This game definitely presents Miranda as being like the femme fatale of this game. Like she is supposed to have been like engineered to be the most beautiful assassin. Honestly, not that attracted to her. Not like objectively, I can see why they would say she's she's beautiful. Um, I'm not gonna argue against that, but for my personal interest, not interested. I've never felt interested in romancing her in any way, shape, or form. Just doesn't do it for me. One month after the devs of sitting together to take out the Citadel, the Galactic Community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Citadel Council and earned humanity membership in a prestigious group. Now the Council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers are nervous, but she's out of it. Okay. I know I wouldn't get through it, but I, I was going to try, damn it. See ya, kitty. Alright, here we go. Hold on. There's a lot of cat hair. I wanted to clean that shit off. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at this. So pretty. So pretty. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. Everybody's so busy. Everyone's working. We're wasting our time. Look at all these busy little bees. Ah, oh, it's Presley. Look at all of our favorite people. Activity. I'm so excited to be able to start this whole story so right from this moment with all of our friends all over again. My money's on slavers. The terminus system is crawling with them. So happy. Up something on the long range so happy to be reunited with everyone. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Ah, my crew. My crew. So, so important to me. I'm so glad they're completely intact. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm just so excited about an adventure with the same exact people from the very beginning. I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy about it. Oh, God, no! Oh no! <laughs> it happened so fast! Oh no, Presley! Oh, Ensign! Oh, Joker! Oh no, save them, Joker! Horrible things are happening! Who saw this coming? Oh no! Oh no! How could this happen to us? How could this happen? How could they let this happen to us? Liara, my love! My darling, my wonderful, my wonderful lady. Oh God, we already have our helmets on. We can't even have one last kiss. Oh God, they'll they'll be here. Well, I'll just be confident. One last kiss through the masks, through the masks. Just do it. No, no. <laughs> Uh, there's no time to argue, my love. My love, go save yourself. One of us must bear our children and go on with our legacy. Go! <laughs> this is why you can't, this is why you shouldn't make love to your, to your co-workers, because then it becomes a conflict of interest. And they won't follow orders, you need them to follow orders. It doesn't matter how difficult it is. Seems an unfair advantage for her to be in a full-on military suit while everyone's just walking around in pajamas. Oh no! It's fine, it's fine. Are you okay? Are you okay? It's fine, it's fine. We can we can hobble that into the just needs a tire rotation, it's fine. We can we can we can fix this, we can fix this, we can repair this. We can build it stronger. <laughs> Ouch! This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. All right, here we go. We're into it. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta make sure. Okay, okay. I just had to make sure there wasn't anything that I could like, you know, investigate. Completionist. We need it. This is how we live. This is how I live my life. Okay. Anyway. All right. I'm done panicking. That that joke is that joke is done for now. I've I've. Made sure it uh, outlived its usefulness. Beat that dead horse, so off we go. Now we're just playing. And now we get to do a nice slow walk. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. If it weren't so deadly, it'd be beautiful. Joker. Joker, buddy, are you okay? Why? Who didn't bolt down these chairs? Can I move them? Yeah, I can move them. Boop. Boop. Joker. Hey, buddy. Buddy old pal. Joker. Come on, 
Joker. He's got a little helmet on. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Like, yeah, see, he can save her. I told you. I agree. I agree. The yeah, Normandy's no, don't throw your life away, Joker. You're too, you're too rad. Yeah, okay. You're too rad for a death like this. Going down with a ship is just dumb. Joker. Oh my god, there's so much screen tearing happening right now. <laughs> there's so much screen tearing happening right now. I don't know if you guys are picking it up. I'm seeing it. I don't, it looks like it's kind of smoothing out for the broadcast, which is nice. Probably because the frame rate's a little bit lower. It's probably trying to overdo the frame rate, honestly. Because this computer is so much more powerful than this goofy old monitor that I'm using. But, you know, it is what it is. It's, I wouldn't say, if it weren't for the fact that I'm just like sitting here trying to, like, like specifically observing these things, if it weren't for that, I probably wouldn't notice, you know, like, because this is still beautiful. This is still a beautiful upscale. I'm, I'm all about it. This is fine. We can, we can recover from this. This is fine. This is fine. Yep, this, this fine. No, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, it, uh, oh no. Uh, uh, I remember the first time I played this game and I saw that I was sitting there I was like what the like is that? like I was so confused I was so confused I thought maybe I did something wrong and they just sort of changed the nature of the game so that you would have these elaborate death scenes if you failed at critical points in the story like I was really confused I thought I had done something wrong and then when this popped up I was like okay I didn't do something wrong but I'm still confused is there like are we going to be like Son of Shepherd? Is this going to be like a completely different? Um, uh, no, we don't. I, I'm going to have us not review the story just because my entire playthrough is up. Uh, I think it's even still up on Twitch, and if not, it's on my YouTube channel. So if you want to, if you want to go through that, um, you can. Um, and also at this point in time, I feel like anyone who's interested in Mass Effect knows damn well what the story of Mass Effect is. So, um, no, we are not going to do the interactive comic. We're going to accept the decisions we made and go through it. But yeah, like this part, like it kind of started becoming obvious to me midway through this cinematic what the deal was. Um, which I actually really like this cinematic. I think it's really kind of cool. Um, I think it's really fun to just kind of see and imagine the level of sci-fi stuff they go through to like reconstruct you. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, I was like super confused. I'm also actually digging to uh, the the visuals here and seeing how much they've upscaled some of the the appearance of a lot of these things. See how good it looks now with the uh, with the um, legendary edition. Yeah, I don't know, like, for me, too, I think part of the fascination with this is just the concept of them, like, on a microscopic scale, just, like, tiny bit by tiny bit rebuilding someone. I always, like, there's something to me that's really satisfying about doing everything in, like, a tiny little piece-by-piece piece, hyper-detailed way. You know, you can kind of see it in my writing, how detailed I get, and, like, I take the time to just bit by bit build this world until we have this big world. And so just the concept of them doing that with a human body is like, uh, is like really fun to me. Um, so I think we're going to keep the same face for sure. Cause this is, this is our shepherd. This is our shepherd, right? We're going to keep, we're going to keep the face. Um, so we're going to keep the face. Um, we have been doing the, uh, infiltrator, which is the, uh, tech Soldier, or no, no, it was the Sentinel, I believe. This, wait, which one was it? Fuck, I don't remember, man. It was the Soldier Tech combination. Um, Installation armor system to keep themselves safe. Or load uh, cryo blast. Yeah, this is the one. Heavy pistol sub. Well, is it? Hold on. Infiltrator, sniper, heavy pistol, submachine gun, SMG. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one, the infiltrator. I was I was right the first time. I was right the first time. I got it. I got it. Yeah, because it would be the engineer is just the pure tech. Adept is like pure biotic. 
Sentinel is tech and biotic. Vanguard is soldier and biotic. And the infiltrator, yeah, the infiltrator is where it's at, if you ask me personally. I just forget what the labels are, even when I just played Mass Effect 1, but. Please don't make fun of me. Please don't tease me. Um, cool. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick with it. We're gonna stick with our our infiltrator shepherd because that's my favorite to play. Um, I wouldn't have minded changing her hair a little bit, but you know what? This is this is our Tallulah. This is our Tallulah, so we're gonna keep her there. No, look at the camera. There we go. Yeah, this is our Tallulah. We're gonna we're gonna accept her exactly as she is, and let's uh, do that and move forward. I uh, wasn't able to change any settings. Yep, that's fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright. So, I am now... Basically, what is it? Six billion dollar man? Can build him better. Can build him stronger than before. Uh-huh. Yeah, give me the sedative. I'm in great pain. I would bathe. I'm still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. God damn right it's off the charts. I'm brilliant. Not working. Another dog. Now. And we're yeah okay. And we're out. I mean, like, why would it matter if they lost? They clearly have the technology to just keep trying again and again. Like, I'm not allowed to die. I'm definitely not allowed to die. Although it does kind of beg the question, like, how long did it take for them to recover my body, and like, how long was I dead? Like, it definitely, without really exploring it, it kind of introduces the concept of, like, it, it introduces this concept of, like, what what constitutes death, and at what point in time would we be a zombie or an undead? You know, like, what would happen to our brain, to our, our, our mindset, based on the level of damage, right? I forget if it really gets into the details of, like, how much brain damage you received throughout all of that. All right, so space bar is still our, um, our stuff here. Man, oh man, it's okay. Hold on a second. I'm gonna um, options controls. I'm gonna see if I can turn down. Yeah, I'm gonna turn down the mouse sensitivity. Honestly, like it is, it's pretty intense. Um, so I'm gonna try doing that. Stick configuration, shooting configuration. Those are fine. Invert mouse, mouse. What's dampening? Turn on the setting allows for precision. Slower the mouse is moved, the slower the camera rotates. Fast movements. Yeah, okay, so I think that's part of the issue, too, is with that on, it tends to be pretty extreme. So let's try reducing that a little bit and just see. That is so much better. Yeah, that's so much better. Okay. Uh, okay, so space bars cover. We've got a better cover system here. Uh, F is to exit cover. Pick up our thermal clip. That's right. They got rid of the overheating in this one. They just—they made so many, um, so many quality of life improvements. Uh, hold W plus spacebar to vault. Ow! There we go. All right. Reload that. Okay, and this is not like Outer Worlds. I don't need to loot every single body of every single person I kill. Alright, so shift is still our power thing. Alright. Take cover. Boom. Got him. Alright. Oops. Oops. Okay, I might need to get a cover. Going back into cover. Ow, got around the corner. <laughs> my bad. Oops. Oops. I need my shields to go back up is what I need. There we go. Go. Boom. Okay. All right. Adjusting, getting used to... Getting used to the system again. Did they... I forget. Did they make health and regenerative thing in this one. I can't remember. I can't remember. I suppose we're going to find out. I suppose we're going to find out. This game is actually very pretty, though. The, I think the upscaling that they did for the um, for the Legendary Edition looks pretty good in this one. Um, oh, no! 
No, don't try and uh oh no. Uh Yeah, you could have could have ran away and survived. But no. Nope. Yeah, to be a hero. Pick up the grenade launcher, hell yeah. Hold left shift. Okay, yeah. Boom. Uh, he looks like he's kind of, kind of twitchy there a little bit. Alright, um. Yeah, okay, I, I'm gonna have to look and see if there's a way for me to. Um, yep, storm through the fire, wow, okay. So what, I can't storm through the fire then? Ish. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Miranda. Alright. Wow, they, uh... That, that has some, uh, oomph to it, doesn't it? Data logs, okay, yeah, this is... I remember all of this. This is Miranda talking about my progress of being alive and all that shit. Oh yeah, here we go. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Okay. Over four billion credits so far. So there's that. I can't remember. What, uh, isn't this? I thought this was where they first introduced like the hacking concept. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh nope, never mind. I thought I thought this was where they. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be. Oh wait, no, that I just read that one. I guess I was wrong. Alright. So we're going through here. Hey, buddy. You're okay. Hey. Looks surprisingly calm for the fact that he just got exploded. Let's see here. Log update. Uh, oh, yeah. Miranda's a very tough cookie to please. <laughs> You're a cold hearted bitch. I mean, yes, although that is a little harsh. You know, it's like. Boom, there we go. Alright, yeah, this is where we get uh, Jacob. Jacob's pretty cool. I dig him. Uh, yeah, what are you doing here? Yeah, you tell me. I'm, I'm confused. Woke up. Probably know more than I do. Right, sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. Alright. Yeah, Jacob's Jacob's pretty cool. I, I dig him. Um he's a better neutral human soldier archetype than Caden ever was, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, I like him much better than Caden or Ash, to be perfectly honest. Um uh, let's see here, I'll tell you, but um Better get you to the shuttle first. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't know that we need to ask any questions. Realistically speaking, if we're gonna play this like a role-playing game, I would not be asking questions. I'd be like, yeah, let's, yeah, let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh huh. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. I feel like I shouldn't have to give you the order. I think you should just use your powers, buddy. Left shift. Um, uh, all right, wait, hold on. I need to aim it at someone here. There we go. Pull them both. Kind of disappoints me that they uh, didn't get pulled over the edge. I think that would have been funny here. All right, there we go. Ready to get the hell off this station? All right. Um. Yeah, let's let's try and ask some questions now. Sure. What do you want to know? Um. Yeah, this one. Spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing. Nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they. I mean, aren't we all in a way just meat and tubes? You know, it's like when you think about what our arteries are, what our digestive tract is. We're all just meat and tubes. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, investigate. I think this is the other one that I would ask because the last thing we last remember, thing remember is like, is yeah, blowing, blowing up. up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigate no, Presley, buddy, everyone else, buddy, old the pal. Crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Uh, yeah. Where are they now? Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. Uh, it's been two years. They've moved on. Yeah. Left the alliance. Yeah, that's one of the interesting things about this one that, like, I feel like even for me, um, yeah. So we're we're gonna accept that it's been two years, so they're probably not here. Um, so let's get out of here. Um, but that's like one of the interesting aspects of this that I feel like for me in past playthroughs, I don't always actually fully appreciate is the fact that like there's a huge disconnect between what Shepard remembers and what Shepard is now doing with her, his slash her life versus what happened to the rest of the characters. Because yeah, two years, that's that's more than enough time to accept what happened and move on and accept that maybe your old commander is dead or whatever. Um, so... Um, yeah, it's like an interesting concept, really. Um, so yeah, so let's move on. Um, we're not going to be too questiony uh, right now, just because like we're still kind of in like we got to survive the situation mode. And Jacob and whoever he's talking to seem pretty in charge, so we're just going to accept that and get out of here. Boom, just piecing them up. Alright, let's see. If we can reload, we'll do that. Yeah, okay. Server room, buh. Alright, um. Hold up, hold up. We got, oh, n oh no! Oh no! There's so many of them! Do they have the same death pose? Do they have like the same death pose? It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, but that's okay. Uh, open the log. Mental and neurological functions. Yeah, I would say so if it's a two-year process. Yeah, it would, it would be an interesting thing to discuss what the implications are of this game and uh, what it's... Um, uh, what it's, you know, kind of like what it's saying about, like, the existence of a soul and, and what it is. Like, it seems to intrinsically tie the soul, you know, and, and the person to the body is what it seems to suggest here. Um, you know, and I think that it's kind of a potentially interesting philosophical debate uh, to be found there. Hey, Wilson! Uh, yeah, I remember you. there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. Hey, buddy. How about we talk about this after we fix it? Uh, sure. Why not? Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Shepard, you must go get it. You are the only one who can do it. Um. Okay. Left shift and move your mouse to the Unity power. Is that what do they call it? Unity. There it is. There we go. <clears throat> Save my life. Guess that makes us even. Now. Yeah, fuck you, Wilson. I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. Completely irreversible. Those dastardly bastardlies. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? Uh, I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was <laughs> shot. How do you uh, explain that? Yeah, I don't trust any of you yet. That's. I think that's a fair one. A little aggressive, but. You're all strangers to me. Get someplace safe, and then we'll sort out who's yeah, it is. That that is a logical, sensible thing. We need to thing. find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-wing. The mechs were all over that sector. Uh, There's have no you met Miranda? A bunch of mechs she Miranda. will She's use alive. simple, straight-up force of will to survive. Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. Oh, excuse me. She's either Ooh. dead or Ooh. she's a traitor. Um, let's see here. Yeah, she tried to help me. she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. He's We're not really wrong about not. that. Um, I can't really fault the logic either. Like, 
He's trying to survive, and I don't think that makes him a bad person, you know? I think strategically it's a poor decision. Uh, let's see, the disruptor ammo. Oh, yeah, he wants us to, like, overload, whatever. That's it. Let's get out of here. Alright, um, let's see here. Oh, good, we've got a bot. Hold on. Took him down. Uh, no, I do not want to buy followers. Hold on, as soon as it's going to let me pause, I'm going to do exactly that and uh, auto mod this crap out of here. Or mod this crap out of here. Actually, no, I'm just going to do it right now. Because um, it'll pause it automatically. Hold on. I would like to ban this shit. I do not need ads or anything in my chat. I'm not about that. We were talking about it even just this morning. If you wanna, if you wanna piss me off, make it, you know, remind me of the fact that everything is a goddamn ad. All right, Lazarus Project, promo that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and remember it and say, why would Cerberus I save my me? I share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then, they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, <laughs> the Alliance declared. That's that's fair assessment, Jacob. Cerberus you top-heavy son of a bitch. Back. <laughs> Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Cool. Uh yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and say fine, let's go. <clears throat> we're not gonna be all here, let's get moving. Um It's not much fun. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be all like, I'll never work for you because it's just gonna be embarrassing when I'm wrong. All right, yep, just a bunch of dead people. We're going to go ahead and keep this out here. This is going to be an important thing to have out. You know, a gun in the middle of a deadly firefighting type of situation. All right. Is that not where I go? Oh, I go over here. All right. Go through the door. I use some of my powers. I want to use the structure ammo. I like though the way they did like the disruptor ammo and stuff for the guns in this game. Like the way they changed it from how it was before. It's this was definitely a much smarter approach to it. How it's just like you can based on your class and everything have access to different types of stuff like it were a power. And you can set it to the weapon and you can sort of change in that will. So much less work involved in using what you want to use, you know. So I always appreciate, uh, I, I appreciate the way they handled it in this game. All right, let's pull out the big boomer here. There we go. Let's see here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they gave me a way to do the key bindings. Kind of like how I was always fussing over the key bindings beforehand. Um, excess, get some credits. Man, I'm, I'm getting rich off of this. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Long term exposure to vacuum and sub zero temperatures. Yeah, so it's like. Uh, Excellent physical trauma Wilson assures me the subject is salvageable. Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. So, yeah, it's like. They kinda. Okay, here we go, here we go. Um, start the bypass. Boom. Boom. You can kind of. I remember, like, you can kind of follow where a lot of these things go. Ah, dang it. I, I goofed it up. Okay, yeah, you kinda have to. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, I wanna. I, I, I gotta kind of relearn how to do this. So is that one there? This one would go what there? Yep. This one appears to go there, there. Yeah, and there, and there. Yeah, like you're supposed to kind of generally be able to. What the? Why is it not letting me? There we go. Okay, that was weird. Um, yeah, so you gotta be able to find the things there, and it looks like. It looks like it was I was getting too hasty and not noticing the fact that it highlights them when you hover over them. So I'll have to remember how to do that. Um, but yeah, no, when it's talking when this game it keeps talking about like long term damage and all that kind of stuff. So like 
it seems to be trying to make it perfectly clear that I was literally brought back from the dead. Shepard was literally brought back from the dead. Um, deceased, excessive cell damage to the point that there was nothing that could be salvaged. Oh yeah, and then Miranda's like, she got the crazy eyes when she does that. What the hell are you doing? She got them crazy eyes. Yeah, I don't know. She just doesn't do it for me. I know, I know a lot of people were like, I, I remember back in the day, she was like, she was like Lady D levels of like, oh, look at this hot mama, um, for a lot of people, but she just never really did it for me. Never really did it for me. Maybe there's something wrong with me. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't like the fact that she would just like, Even if you're sure, yeah. Did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he mm -hmm. would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. He was our what friend. He was the I best never... man at my wedding. You've been single ever since I've known you. Still. Um. Okay. Yeah. So. You say so. What's our next? Yeah. Step? Whatever. We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Uh, yeah. Jay, yeah. Yeah. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. He's well, not wrong. Everything out in the open. Is there anything else you want to ask before we go? Uh, possibly. Let's see. What do you got? Uh. No, I guess we I, we already got the answers that Shepard that I imagine Shepard would realistically be interested in, and that's like regarding her old crew. So yeah, let's go. Let's let's go. Come on. Oh, excuse me. That was rude. I apologize. Whew. I'm a burpy boy sometimes. Oh, me and my weird glowing face wounds. I always thought that was a little trite, the fact that they made it so it's like, the more angry you are, the more your scars will make you look like that. And it's like, that's a little, I don't know, a little fable if you ask me, but okay. Um, uh, yeah, two years? <laughs> Twelve days, and you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. All right. Was this their? I uh, like. I forget. Or I. I think I remember that this was their way to. Enlisted in one of my um, fighting battalions during uh, the Skillian Blitz. To give me the option to change things that? if I wanted to. Um. Uh. Yeah. I had no choice. All lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda. I had friends in the war. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed right. Saren's cloning facility. You had to yeah, this was the one. This is the one. Lost. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Uh, it was that or die. We're done here. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll just kind of be diplomatic about it. I'm gonna stick with the Paragon thing, honestly. It's just, it's just more comfortable for me to play Paragon, honestly. Like, if I'm being perfectly honest, I um, I have a hard time doing evil stuff. Like, you know, in a game, it's, it's one thing, and for the sake of completionism and seeing how things are different, I'll do it. But in terms of just enjoyment, I don't like being an asshole if I can avoid it. It's one of the things that I'm struggling with uh, while playing um, uh, the Outer Worlds is like there's a lot of situations where they kind of just force you to be an as an asshole to, for for no reason at all um and i'm not a huge fan of it okay yeah, this is the one because i blew it off and now they're gonna make me choose um i'm trying to remember exactly what it is like if i'm being perfectly honest if i'm being perfectly honest i would s probably say udina should be the one like he's an asshole but he understands how the how the council works. Anderson was a soldier. He was a grounded soldier who kind of took up the mantle of being a political figurehead. But really, Udina is the one who like worked the system. So, like, I never really liked that they put that in like the they they subtly like hint that that should be a renegade option. But I think I'm gonna choose that. Honestly, I feel like Udina is the smarter choice. Um. Yeah. Kennedy was offered a spot in the council. 
I recommend yeah, I did not recommend Udina for the position. Yes, um, I said Udina no one. Council I said we should decide that later, but that's fine. He's done an admirable job of representing humanity's interests. Um, not sure he's done enough for humanity, but I guess that's politics. Yeah. Right? Your memory seems solid. So yeah, uh, yeah, and it's like it would make sense that Jacob would have preferred like Anderson, another military man. Memories are there. Um, and I can vouch for Shepard's but that's what it is, and I think ultimately it's pretty inconsequential right. if I'm remembering it we'll have to hope perfectly he accurately. Our little field test so is enough. there we go. Alrighty. Oh, I love sci-fi. I love sci-fi and space in general. Space is so room. cool. Okay, is there? Nope, she's not gonna let me do any conversations. Customize gear. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yes, yes. That's right. They let you do your own customization of stuff, um, which is so awesome. And so we'll have more stuff that we can do later. Um, oh my God, that that hood is badass. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. That's sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that though. Um, yeah, and we'll get more stuff as we go on. I remember this. Um, okay, yeah, and it's going to make me do it this way. Let's see here. Like, I think... I feel like I remember it becomes easier to check on the stuff. Um, like when you add color here. So let me look at all my color options here. Now, this is the thing. Here's the thing. Don't make fun of me. Um... Because I definitely, because I am legitimately colorblind, um, red green colorblind. So, but still, green is one of my favorite colors, just because lime green is always like super, like attractive to me. Um, so, but here's what I'm gonna do. So my color scheme these days, my favorite color scheme tends to change from time to time. These days, I'm all about the white. I'm gonna go with that white with like a lime green and teal accents kind of like an ice type of theme so we could there's kind of a teal there but not really so we're sky blue so we're gonna go with green we're gonna do the white with the green there and we can change the pattern and we can change the pattern color too so actually here's what I wanna do I'm gonna do the light blue and we're gonna find a, a badass pattern like okay so we'll go with that pattern and let's just see what that looks like if we make the pattern green Oh, see now there's like a lime green that's kind of close now the only thing I wanted I'm gonna check let me just see something here I'm worried this is gonna look silly because of like the pattern being right on her boobs but I want to try doing like there's there's I guess close to our lime green and then the pattern color save that as white that actually doesn't look too bad I don't like that the helmet doesn't really follow it. I guess I prefer that. Yeah, with like the, the teal. It's not exactly my color pattern. My favorite Muay Thai shorts that I own are white with lime green and teal accents, and I love those. Um, I think, like, teal just is so pretty to me. Same with uh, lime green, and it's just because they're bright colors that really pop, so even though I'm colorblind and a lot of colors a, a lot of uh, things kind of end up looking kind of muddy to me um, yeah no yeah we're gonna go with the white um, so even though th a lot of a lot of colors look muddy to me those bright colors that really pop um, those ones stand out to me and I absolutely love them um, but yeah I like seeing the blue coloring there that's kind of the teal almost that I'm looking to invoke I like that they gave me butt cheeks <laughs> they gave the armor butt cheeks isn't that just wonderful Everyone needs some good butt cheeks. So there we go. Um, yeah, I think that's solid. Um, and I like the, I don't know, I like the breather helmet. I think it's like if we're going to do a helmet, just like go for the helmet, you know what I mean? Now we got to get our casual appearance here. <laughs> that's, um, that appearance looks so much. That makes me think of, um, I'm forgetting her name, the one character from Firefly. The engineer girl. What on earth? Who would consider that casual? That is absurd. That's absurd. I'm offended. I'm offended by that. I kind of dig the hoodie, honestly. I kind of think she looks pretty rad with the cargo pants and the hoodie. 
I just wish I could change the color for it. But yeah, let's do that. Let's go with that. Oh, I see. The the So by having the helmet, it means that I've got it on at all times. No, I don't want to have the helmet on at all times. Um, yeah, no, she's, she's too cool for a helmet at all times. But yeah, I like the green armor. I think the green armor looks good. Until we get some more, some better options that make it more feasible to do the white armor with green accents. Um, but right now, yeah, we'll do green armor with white boobies. So there we go. It's perfect. All right. With our with our little butt cheek pads. <laughs> oh, hey there. Uh, this guy always makes me think of Martin Sheen. I can't remember if he actually was, but he like he looks he looks and makes me think of, it makes me think of Martin Sheen every time. Um, um, uh, yeah. Let's see. I, I kind of feel like I would take either option here, just given what um, given what Shepard's history with this guy is. I'm going to go neutral, though, because I don't really want to be... I never really understood quite why there was quite this much animosity. I mean, yes, we have history and everything like that, but the fact is it's pretty clear that they did revive her. So, like, I would be more curious than anything. ...between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see you uh, still intact. Yep, we're talking about the Reapers. Um, yeah, let's just let's just be terse with them. Skip the pleasantries. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide? Yeah, exactly. That's that's really what we want to know. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies. Oh, excuse me. Oh man. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Just one reason. Um, is there anything? No, I don't think so. Um, I kind of want to just say where do we start, to be perfectly honest, but let's do maybe if I believe you. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest mm -hmm. colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and say, do I have a choice? Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You're being voluntold, Shepard. choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you There can. we go. Who's abducted? And we're in it. Do they have any connection? Hook, Everybody? line, and sucker. I brought you back. All right. It's up to you to do the rest. Let's do this. Let's go about this. Level up. Oh, hold up. Don't don't freeze on me. Don't panic. There we go. Thank you, game. Uh, here we go. Let's check this out. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they um they really simplified everything. I remember that now. I definitely remember that now. Um, right, so with more points, you unlock conversation options. Yep. Yeah, they really simplified this, which I, I am on board with. Um, I think it was the right move for them to simplify this as much as they did. Um, <clears throat> uh, because it really was so time-consuming um, to, to have to sit through and do all of this. Uh, so let's see here. So I do want to update the um, that, um, and then let's upgrade our tactical cloak. Um, so that way we can get our um, cryo ammo. I do want the the cryo ammo, um, and then the incinerate. Exploding flame damages the health and armor of anyone nearby. Um, it's either that one or the operative. Um, which brings up our health, weapon damage, stuff like that. I kind of want to just make sure I'm getting all my powers and have those ready to go. Like, that's good investment early on, just to have all the tools at my disposal. And then we can start upgrading all of them. Um, so there we go. I think that's good. I think that's perfectly good right there. Um, okay, that's good. Uh, we are going to save here, now that we've got the opportunity. Um... Oh my god, there's so many announcements that they have to make me sit through here. <laughs> As is tradition. 
Um, okay, here's what's going to go down. Uh, I've been here for an hour. Uh, I've been pounding through uh, my, my beverage here, which I didn't really mean to drink it that fast. But what that means is uh, i got to make pity whistles. So we're going to pause this. I'm definitely going to keep playing. Um, I've got at least another hour in me. Um, got at least another hour in me. But I'm going to pause for like, for like five minutes, run to the bathroom, get a refresher on the drink, uh, and we will be back to continue. So sit tight for me. Uh, and and we will be back very shortly. I promise. I promise. It won't be that long. Is that gonna be that long? I promise. I promise. It's just like it says. I'll be right back. So sit tight. Thank you.
Is he back? Is he back now? Is it time to keep going? I think it is. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. All right, let's see here. Where did we leave off? Um. Okay. Um. Whatever. I don't want to talk to Miranda. I don't want to talk to Miranda. Um. I don't know. Maybe I do want to talk to them. Let's see here. The elusive man is very important. Let's see here. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Um. Just remember who's in charge. Who's in charge? Um. We'll just we'll keep it neutral. I'll do my don't best. Worry. We'll find out what happened to those colonists. Well, at least you're confident. Let's hope it's not misplaced. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to be enemies. I'm gonna we go with to that. Work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your <laughs> abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. Your motivations me. concern me, boobs, okay? Like, let's go ahead and be nice to each other. Or a liability to our cause. <laughs> right, yeah, whatever. You're not in talking. Yeah, boom. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can... Okay, hold on. There was one thing I forgot to check. I want to see... Yeah, that's right. Okay, I want to see what the different materials end up looking like. Let's see here. They really don't have much of an impact at all. I'm gonna go with like the most matte one that we can find. Um, yeah, let's do that one. Let's go with that one. Man, I don't know. Hold on a second. All right, all right, all right. Hold up, hold up a second. I'm gonna go back. I wanna try checking out the doing the white with the green highlights. That's like a gray. That's like a weird pearlescent white. I don't really like that one. So yeah, let's go with white. And then, yeah, we'll keep that one with our teal there. And then the pattern color. Let's make that green. I'm going. I'm. I'm. I'm doubling back. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. It, like I don't really like the green on 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 the the yabos there, but I think this is more so the color scheme that I'm into with like that teal and then the lime green. That just that's more like what I actually am interested in. Glad the elusive man so, convinced you to join us, Commander. Um. Yeah, we'll go with that. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Uh, I feel like at this point in time, I would say I'm not sure. Um, I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Yeah. Most aligned soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Um, anything? Uh, let's just, yeah, let's not delve let's into it right now. now. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Alright, uh, okay, that's good enough. Uh, mission complete. We leveled up and everything. Mission complete! Success! Alright. We should be there shortly, Shepard. Here we go. The elusive man put us under your command. Uh, Do you have any orders? So man, put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Um, uh, no. Let's just go ahead and do the suggested the paragon command. thing. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost. I agree with you there, Jacob. I like your optimism. I like the cut of your jib there, Jacob. Alrighty. I like that they did away with the whole like hurling us at the ground like they did with the Mako back in the day. <laughs> Alright, um uh so we got different weapons and everything. Alright, and they have sort of pre assigned all of our abilities there, which is kinda nice, I guess. Alright, let's go with the sniper. The snipper riffle. Alright, yeah, I wanna open up and see what's in here. Like everyone just got Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of stuff going on here. Alright. Strange. No bodies. All no right. structural damage. <clears throat> no signs of battle. No signs of battle. Could have been cleaned up. Alright, um, let's see here, the cryo, 
freezes enemies. So shields and shreds synthetic targets. Yeah, that's what I want. Because we're working against uh, robots here. There we go. I want to go ahead and be prepared to shred through the, the robots. Oops. Yeah, you're welcome, Miranda. Ah, what the what the we H? Someone reprogrammed them to attack on Alrighty. We're not alone here. Alright, yeah, there's not really anything to do in any direction other than going through here. Always paying attention so that we can find things like med kits and wall safes to pilfer. Alright, um So the Ooh, that matches, that matches, that matches, and then that matches. There we go. All right, very, very easy on the on the puzzles there. Um, not much to do. You just gotta not ignore it, and you'll get it through. And apparently, you do get at least a couple of tries at any of these. Whoops. All right. Oh, he's flying away. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. Hi! Um, do you need something? Or... <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's see, what's that? That's the... Heavy pistol. Let's pull out the heavy pistol here. I want something that's just got a bit more oomph than the pistol itself. Look right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Hey, look who it is! Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances. With um, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Uh, yeah, it's Shepherd me, Tally. Me, Tally. It's me? In return, they it's it's me, Tally? Attacks on human colonies. Uh huh. Pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. <laughs> I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. So much what tension. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. Agreed. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. Vitor? Vitor. That's right, I remember Vitor. Um, yeah, why did Vitor come here? Actually, you know what, yeah, have you if found Vitor him? If Vitor survived the attack, he may be able to tell us what happened. That's the hope. We've seen him, but he might not be in the state to answer <laughs> and, uh, questions. nervous. He yeah, that's fair. And, uh, you mean unhinged. He means that he was unstable. Yep. <laughs> damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he Poor Vitor. Scrubbing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. Uh, he excuse me. He also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Uh, yeah, we need we need to team up. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work Agreed. together to find him. Good idea. Hundred percent. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus. No, Praza. Is near Vitor? Or Praza, yeah. Go wait in the car if you ha can't handle it. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, why do you hate Cerberus? No, this isn't the time to get into that. Sounds like a plan. I like, that's the kind of thing where you can tell they put it in there for anyone who's diving into uh, the, the game without having played the first one. So that way they can have like, you know, and a, a way to give you the option to um, hold left shift to display direction of the current. Oh, I see. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, in the little mini map. Okay. Um, but yeah, like you can tell that they put that there to uh, give you the opportunity to catch up if you don't already know what's going on, um, which is which is probably good of them truthfully you know like I make fun of it but yeah like it's it's it was it was a smart move for the sake of not alienating any new players circles and then bada bing bada boom there it is there it is all right okay Use overload on them. Oh, they got shields. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. 
Let's see here. There we go. Boy, oh boy, we are getting we're getting pieced up here a little bit, guys. Med kit here. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get Let's here. See here. We should have expected this. Come on, you can still catch them. Open the door, gotta open the door. Open the door, going slow for dramatic effect. Okay, anything. Go. Let's, uh, let's throw one of these there. Or not. Oh, got that one at least. One there we go. That one. Oh, 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 oh. A couple more, a couple more. There we go. Where is it going to land? There we go. Alright, okay, so they want us to hurry, but I'm going to take my time. Because I am aware that this is a game. Uh, and it will wait for us. Q and E to send your hench. Oh, I've got henchmen now. Am I positive I'm not the evil guy here? You, got uh, you there and you there. Right. Take point, and Shepard. getting in cover. We'll, cover the door. well, go and do it. There we go. Oh no. Oh guys. Oh guys. Oh guys. Oh, uh, like a bug. Oh, that thing, uh, that thing was all about the double tap there, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, their whole team is just kind of sucking ass. I like how they made us get into cover, but then it was irrelevant because we all moved out of that cover immediately. So it had, they had to give us the teaching moment. Okay, hold on. I want to pull out this thing here. Got one left. <coughs> oh, excuse me, that, that came out of nowhere. I apologize. Um, okay, hold on. Let me get my bearings here. I apologize. I did not mean to deafen anyone. Um, I was I was not expecting to sneeze right at that moment. It just kind of happened. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, Shepard, get out of, get out get out oh yeah, oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's get down here, okay, hold on. I want to wait until we're aimed at him here, and then I want to get him sitting right there on his armor. You kill stealing whore! I wanted that explodey there. What a bitch, what a bitch. Okay, um... So we're pretty much done and we need to go up there, but first I want to do the obvious and loot. Yeah, there we go. See, I need my heavy weapons ammo. Obvi. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, da, 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 something kind of almost relaxing about doing these, you know? Boop. There we go. Way easier with mouse and keyboard than trying to do those with like the Trying to get this stupid cursor with uh, um, with joysticks to move fast enough. Uh, this is valuable. There we go. Might as well get that stuff, and then let's let's see. We might as well come over here and check what we can get. Let's get the med kit. Uh, tally. This is chance to go find Vitor while I uh, Oh, I see. So you're giving me the chance to do it before. That's very generous of you, Tally. I knew our friendship would pay off in the end. There we go. There's our iridium. Monster hey, yo, what's up? What's up, computer brain? Contact. How you doing, buddy? Swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. <laughs> Vitor? Hey, hey, bud. No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters uh, yeah, you're safe now. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. 
I don't think he can hear you, Commander. <laughs> Uh, right mouse button to perform Next paragon time. action. Okay, I got it. That's right. They have the quick actions that you have to like pay attention for. I forgot about that. Oh boy, I have to. I can't just like slack off during uh, cutscenes anymore. I gotta actually pay attention. Human. Um, you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. Um. They took everyone. Yeah. T uh, tell us what happened. Why didn't I would the like to know. Fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. Oh well, yeah, that's why we're asking you, buddy. <laughs> ah, here Looks we like go. security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My God. I think it's a collector. Uh, yeah, what's a collector? Is that Let's some do that one. Alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega Four relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through oh no. like slavers. Oh no, this seems mercenaries. like a big deal. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Yeah, it's definitely bad news. Definitely bad news, and we're not really happy about Seeker's this, that's for sure. No one can hide. The seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take uh, you away. Yeah, go on, Vidor. Um, what happened okay, next? no. At first second, I thought the it was frozen. The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. Oh, gosh, I apologize. I'm getting the, mid I'm getting the midday sleepies. Which isn't that unexpected, actually, considering I had a pretty intense, uh... Uh, workout this morning, but with sprints and uh, weightlifting, so that was um, it was it was likely to cause me to be a little a little dozy. I'll probably have to take a nap this afternoon before I end up going to um, uh, going to the gym for my second workout of the day. Thank you, Vitor. You You're very I helpful. I studied them, the monsters, the swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Oh man, Talk excuse energy. me. We need to get I shouldn't have said the word nap. Now my body's like, Red oh, we should do that. That sounds himself. nice. Let's do that. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment. Yeah. Not an interrogation. I'm definitely with Tally on that one. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omni tool data, but please. Yeah, Just like that's it's like 100%. Um, it's 100% the thing. Um, I kind of want to say this, and actually, I feel like Shepard would be like, "Please, please don't leave me alone with these guys." So I'm gonna try it. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. Not like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive. Yeah, that's fair. And you're with it's totally fair. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from ah. that. Not Tally. Yeah, Vitor goes with Tally, 100%. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you. Yeah, that's how it has to go. I'm glad you're still the one giving. No, I mean that's 100% sensical. Like, clearly all the information is in the data thing, and his brain is clearly pretty, pretty rattled from all of this. Like, interrogating him, or even just like friendly questioning of him, would not actually achieve a whole lot. Like, it only makes sense. It only makes sense. So, yeah. That was the right decision. 100%. Defend it to the day I die. Good work on freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data. But it's a surprising... Yeah, you're welcome, bud. History. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Yeah, having friends pays off. <clears throat> you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Um, yeah, you don't seem surprised. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions. I knew he was going to say that. I knew it. I knew it. Of course he was going to say that. 
They periodically I mean, that's like such an easy thing to say in order to like make yourself seem more all-knowing, right? If you just were to like say like, that confirms what I already suspected. I didn't tell you though, because I'm the one in charge and I don't have to answer to you. It's like that's such an easy thing to say and you don't need any evidence for it, right? It's just like pure arrogance. Uh, excuse me. Um, uh, yeah, I am kind of curious about that. Why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to yeah. get their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? All right. Uh, yeah. What art are you telling me? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? Oh gosh, I cannot stop yawning. This is not good. Data. The Consul and the Alliance Oy were vey. the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Um. Yeah, I can't do if it alone. If this is a war, I'll need an army or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Mm -hmm. Finding yeah, you're them damn right and I will. convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready. Yeah, let's see here. I want to say I had a good team. I'm going to go with that. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. I mean, that's not exactly what I had intended for her to say, but that's okay. On, or their allegiances have changed. Um. Uh, what about um? I mean, you know, let's uh, talk about Liara. Let's what Liara about Liara? Just, she's you know, on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and Once ask about all of them. Carrion. The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Oh, Garrus. Okay, we already kind of know about Tally. We won't ask about that. Um, let's ask about Ash and then Rex. Williams. She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Oh, oh, Ashley's getting into some secret stuff. Where's Just James Rex? bonding all over the world. He to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off um. world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. All right, well, then okay. never mind. I get it. They're not available. Okay, I get it. They're not available. Leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. All right, um... Yeah, I don't want to pull the whole sure Spectre card. Ready. I just it got old even in the first one. That ain't who. We're, that's not all we're about, okay? There's a whole lot about us besides our Spectre status. That's important. I wish I could stop yawning. Uh, I might need to go just pop a mouthful of Skittles and just get some blood sugar going real quick just to boost me through here. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Is that an order? I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. Yeah, you're damn right I will. Because I'm the one in charge. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. My man. My man. It's my boy Joker. Hey, Commander. Just like old times. It's my boy Joker. Are you a robot too? I saw you Got lucky. A lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. <laughs> but they aren't all bad. I like Joker's so attitude. I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. That's, and there's this. you know. I think there's a certain only reasonable ness to that because it's like you don't get to the top without knowing how to play the game and so and knowing how to play the game usually means being willing to step on a few people and use the rules to your advantage and their disadvantage so I think Joker's on the money with that with that line there perfectly to be perfectly honest Although, I, w I guess I would amend that and say, like, realistically, I wouldn't say that that's a reason to distrust anyone or everyone, but I think it is a good reason to always be weary and to make your own decisions based on what you feel is right, not based on explicitly what a supervisor 
or a superior says. Um, either way, I like Joker. He's a cool character. He's a cool bro. Joker's my bro. I dig him. Alright, once we get through this cut scene, I'm going to disappear for 30 seconds. I'm going to go grab a mouthful of Skittles. I'm hoping that just a little blood sugar rush will get me through the next, at least like a half hour. I wanted to stream for at least two hours today. Stream Mass Effect 2 for two hours. Because that's enough time to really get us through a lot of this like introductory stuff so we can actually get to the game. Um, but man, I am crashing hard right now. Crashing hard. I was, I was living off of the coffee, but now that that's gone... Uh, my body's like, hey man, we went through a lot and we need some energy. So, okay, I'll be back in like 30 seconds. I'm not even going to make the screen go away. I'm just going to go get some candy and I'll be back with a mouthful of candy like a, like a toddler. It's going to be great. It's going to be good fun. I'll be right back. Who's excited about listening to me chew on Skittles? Mmm. Fucking love Skittles. Probably my favorite candy. Alright, whatever. Mmm. Yeah, that that casual gear was the right decision. It's a rad outfit. And it's like we ain't military anymore. We don't need to be dressed up in like military skivvies all the time. If we're on casual time, we're in casual clothes. End O story. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I like that it's still N7. Like we insist upon wearing our N7 stuff even though we work for Cerberus. Starting by acquiring more than Solus, the Solarian Professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize the victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure. <sighs> Not wrong. Yeah, that's a good point. It is my ship. Just like keep flexing at her, like two like two alpha dogs in a pack trying to fight for dominance. Just make Fem Shep and Ashley. Also, everyone always talks about like, you know, the the beauty involved in uh, Miranda's tush, but let's let's take a minute to admire Jacob's Jacob's uh, little hiney over there. That thing is uh, supple and firm. Like, let's just like, like let's just be real about it. Those uniforms doing both of them some favors. All right, like that is, I don't know. Anyway, good point. We'll be diplomatic. Okay. Who are you? Yeah, Joker won't like this. I like that one. Almsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not own the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship Good. systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Um, <laughs> anyone else I should meet? I actually kind of like the, the slight bit of snark involved there. I'm guessing there. it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. All right. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay. Jacob, we ain't alliance no more. Cut that shit out. Okay. Yeah. That's the galaxy map. Private terminal. Okay, yeah. Uh, yep, yep, that's right. We can kind of change weapons and everything. I gotta take. I gotta stop at that that armory for sure. Um. <laughs> oh, is that what the elevator does? I didn't know. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna check on all of these things. I th I, I feel like that's kind of this is what we're gonna end up finishing this with is just checking all these menus and getting everything set up so that way next time I stream this game we can just be uh, on our we can be on our way um, 
So, first off, yeah, let's see this. Um, team status. Select. So we've got dossiers for a lot of people. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can choose different appearances. That uh, that one looks so rad. That's so much cooler. I like that outfit so much better for her. That's so cool. So much better. Yeah, we're absolutely keeping that one. Um, loyalty normal. Normal. Yeah, and then like you get even more outfits for all of them when you up their, their loyalty even more. Um, so we will get there and work on that stuff with all of them. Um... Um, okay, nope, nothing there. Unread messages. Uh, uh, let's see. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on the council, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Um, yep. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to mark that one as red. Yeah, okay. Uh, Shepard, we've reached an agreement with a veteran mercenary, Zaid Masani. You may know the name. Zaid has involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations of the Terminus systems, and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You'll find him on Omega, where he has wrapped up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. Uh, all right, Marcus Red. The MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planetside Exploration Rover. Uh, in addition, scientist Dr. Manuel, Manuel Casey and Dr. Robert Alloy are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to help. We need you to find the ship, uh, her survey team, and the doctors. The MSV Rosalie was last seen near the planet Ziona, uh, Elista Ismar Frontier. I just read. Memory crash site located. Oh, that's right. I remember this one. Scans in the uh, uh, on the Amada system have turned up something that you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a mon monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted uh, for from the attack on Normandy, on the Normandy. Um, that's just uh, that's a kind of an awkward phrasing when you think about actual human history. But anyway, uh, if you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report the, to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might get some closure. Godspeed to Commander uh, Recon Hood. Uh, Shepard, it occurred to our arm it occurred to our armor technicians that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives. It has additional microframe functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters kind of interested in checking that one out. I think that was the one that I had kind of put on there. I might put it on again then if it has other features. Uh, one of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project o Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely uh, compartmentalized enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet uh, I eat. Yes, we get to go to the planet I eat. Uh, Typhon system in the Phoenix massing cluster. Please use care in this matter. Okay. Recently had an uh, incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in this, in this uh, Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know how it works. Now we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operatives. All right. Kasumi Goto. At great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled in stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable to your mission. Uh, travel to the Zakara Ward on the Citadel, where you will find a, space, a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password Silence is Golden to begin the rendezvous. Uh, your account. Hello, Commander Shepard. 
thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, subsequent change in status, and the uh, reactivation of your account, you have the remaining balance of, what does it say, 100,000 credits? Thank you for banking with Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Are you protecting your greatest assets? Uh, we will find the best life insurance rates and coverage that fit your needs. Reply for a free quote today. Great. Okay. Cool. Up to date with all that stuff. Okay. Um, let's see here. Chambers. Yeah, she's the, the Chambers is the one that you can that you can uh, make love love to. Um, without having to do it with one of your companions. I never do. I don't find her that interesting. Um, so I'm not interested in it. Um, I'm glad to have you on the team. Um, yeah, pleasure's mine. Her hair is like really screaming like 1940s, 1950s malt shop housewife to me. Like she's it's almost got like the beehive type haircut going on there. It's impressive. Uh, no. Sure. Oh, she liked that. She liked that. How's the crew? Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything yep. else can um, all right. That'll be all. That'll be all. I'll be all right, so I need to go talk with Joker. Let's go ahead and do that before I dive into too much else, since I will have to probably leave this floor for most of them. Let's see, I didn't level up in, at all. Oh, I did. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I want to get the incinerate there so we can get the AI hacking available to us. So, okay. So we're making progress. Making progress on all of my skills and everything. And then everyone else was set to auto, which is... I'm happy about Alright, Joker. It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And uh, Joker. Seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector <laughs> design. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Joker. Intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. <laughs> I like the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. <laughs> cancer. Uh, it's too good to be true. Um, let's see here. Let's say, I don't know, like, both of these are kind of like raining on his parade, you know what I mean? Just the way they are. We'll go ahead and go with this one since it seems to imply that that's the, the kind of one. nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. Yeah, that's fair. Even that's fair, Joker. AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. <laughs> I sure hope so. I died. Downer. Not wrong. It's a very true statement there. Shepard did die. Brutally. For two years. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back over here. I'm going to check with Kelly again here. Um... And just check How and make sure you? anyone else need anything. anything I should know? Nothing right okay, now. good. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I remember it took me a long time to realize that she was like, she was telling me whether or not people had like side and loyalty mission stuff to talk about. Like, so I, I w spent all this time going around, like, yeah, like I spent all this time going around in between every single mission. I would go through and talk to every single person. And I just like, once I figured that out, it was like my second playthrough by the time I figured it out. I was like super embarrassed. Alright, let's uh, choose my weapon loadout here. Let's see here. The arc projector. I, I prefer the arc projector. I'm remembering preferring it anyway, but that can change, so we might look into that. Um, nothing to choose for him. Nothing to choose for her. Okay. Alright, so weapons are good to go. Um... We want the science, um, the upgrades and stuff, but we can't, we can't do the tech labs yet because we gotta get, um, uh, what's his, what's his face? I'm forgetting his name. Um, so let's go up here and let's work on, like, my appearance and stuff. Let me just make sure there are, like, more appearance stuff that has been unlocked now that we are, um, back in it. Oh, we still got a picture of her. Ah, isn't that sweet? Isn't that just so nice? Alright, um... Armor... Yeah, they didn't give us any... That's like all there is to it. Okay, hood issued. Model's object display interface with most, um... Small arms auto-targeting software. Linking hand and eye 
uh, for improved accuracy, increased weapon damage. Ballistic mesh fabric and composite ceramic plating provide necessary armor. And the integral air filter helps in hostile environments. Increases weapon damage by 5%. I mean, if it's going to give me an actual tangible improvement, I think I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Like, I don't see any reason why not to. If they're going to give me an advantage, I'll take it. Okay, so there's that. So that's good. Um, cruise quarters. I don't think there was anything for us to do down there, but we're going to double check it. Going to double check it. Um, those goofballs are just sitting there chatting about nothing. Um, let's see here. Women's restroom. Which I am allowed in. Oh, I feel like I'm cheating because I'm a boy, but I'm playing a girl in this game, so now I'm in the girl's bathroom. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Is it going to let me go? Will it let me? Wait, hold on. Will it let me? Oh, risque. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, and then all of these things are still shut off because we don't have access to those crew members yet. Um, Miranda's over here, but she doesn't have anything to say. We can talk to the mess sergeant here. Thanks, buddy. I don't know you. Uh, yeah, need anything? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a deep <laughs> with military provisions? Yeah, I, I don't, I, that doesn't surprise me there, buddy. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. Uh, the crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves <laughs> into the fire. Crew deserves some nice meals before they die brutally, like the new guy. Wait, what? I thought I was just a pilot. Ah, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, how can I help? If I had some quality ingredients, oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than groceries. Oh no, don't you don't city. you fucking dare do that. I will help you. Give me the list. Give me the list. Head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those nambies <laughs> on the city. Those namby pambies. Yeah, Look here, buddy. Look here, buddy. I won't take fine dining time. is fine dining. Back let's not let's not let's not talk shit on people. Because what are we trying to do? We're trying to improve our dining experience here. So why don't we not? Why don't we not disparage other people? Doctor Chuck was my 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 leading lady. Uh, yeah. Why are you here? You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now. Surprising, even to me. Yet here I am. The kind. I always like how like. Like, I get the feeling that a lot of the, especially with the side characters, a lot of the returning characters were decided based upon probably who uh, was willing to come back as voice actors and actresses. <laughs> I, always, I always imagine that's probably what played a big role in it. Uh, yeah, do you need anything? Dr. Chakwas, do you need anything? Bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. Private reserves. I got, I got, I got some reserved privates for you, Doctor Chakwas. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll get you another one. Keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive. Uh, there are. Have you met humanity? Humanity has a drinking problem. We'll get you your alcohol. I'll see you later, Doctor. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Okay. And we can't go in there yet. Because we have not unlocked that character yet. Okay, um, so that's everything to do on this floor. And then there's the one other floor. I don't know that there's going to be anything for us to do down in engineering, but we'll go find out. My god, the loading screens are so fast. I remember those being just painfully slow in the past. Oh yeah, these two, these two. You're speaking to a commanding officer. Shape up! No. Touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella <laughs> Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. Two very different uh, types of people. Yeah. Do you guys need anything? Okay down here. We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA. Areas. I don't know what that means. Bennett, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. 
I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field. <laughs> I do like. <laughs> I do like that line. T six FBA couplings installed could save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Uh, yeah, why don't you why have them? something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 yeah. model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. Oh. Oh, they discontinued them. Well, I'm Shepard, and I have multiple favorite shops on the Citadel, so I will find you this discontinued item. <laughs> carry on. All right. So well, carry on, you two. I'm amazed Shepard. Uh, let's see. There's, there's the ED. Yeah, what's up, baby? All right, um, just racking up a few Paragon points, getting them while we can. Um, there's nothing down here at the moment because this is eventually where Jack hides. Um, if I'm remembering everything properly, and I don't see why I wouldn't be. Yeah, she like chills out down here, which is a weird fucking place to be, but you know whatever floats her boat. Jack's kind of a fucked up individual, so it's cool. Her outfit always like made me really uncomfortable because like. They kind of got away with it because of all the tats. Makes it look like she's got, like, a full shirt on and everything. But, like, she, she clearly didn't. And it was just always, uh... It was always, uh... I don't know. I just always thought it was weird. There's basically walking around in, like, a string bikini. Um, okay. Let's go to the combat information center. Um, and I'm looking at my time, and I've got other stuff i got to do today. Um, and we're a little shy of the two hours that I was going to do. But this is a really handy stopping point. We've taken care of a lot of the minutia. We got ourselves going. Um, we are through a lot of that introductory stuff and we are ready to actually start playing the game which I am so excited about. Um, so yeah, we are we are on our way here playing ourselves some Mass Effect 2. Um, this will be my usual Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, Tuesday and Thursday afternoon streaming game for the next foreseeable future. I like to, I want to try and like, the reason that I'm doing it so that I've got two games going and one of them I play more frequently, in this situation it's uh, The Outer Worlds, and then my, uh, then this one that I play more consistently but less often, the reason I want to do that is just because I want to have, like, when I'm working on a series, like going through all of the Mass Effect games, or at least the first Mass Effect trilogy, I want to be able to offer a consistent time and place so that if people want to try and continually participate live through the entire run through of everything that's available just because the other times that I play are much more sporadic and much more dependent on me having the time uh, and energy to do it so that's kind of why I'm sticking with that um, I don't know that I'll stick with it 100% forever but it's like you know that's what we're doing so um, the, the auxiliary the, the other bonus is if I don't have a D&D &D game scheduled for any given Saturday afternoon, I will likely be streaming this game on Saturday afternoons. So it'll be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, while writing remains Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So so that's what's going on with uh, Mass Effect here. Um, fun stuff. I know a lot of people are probably over Mass Effect, but I will never be over Mass Effect. I love Mass Effect. It's so much fun. Such a solid, uh, solid collection of games. Um, and I am so in love with the fact that they remade all of them so we can sit here and play them again as if they're fresh, fun games. So, um, yeah, so anyone who stopped by, thank you for joining. Uh, and anyone who's watching this uh, as a VOD, uh, I appreciate uh, your support, even if you're not here live. Um, it's really cool to me that people are interested in what I'm doing, and I will say that every single time because it will always be true. Um, I, I just find it very flattering, uh, to put it simply. So... Thank you for stopping by. Uh, like I say, uh, the rest of this week, um, as far as I can tell so far this week, I will be able to keep up with my midday streams. So uh, tomorrow and Friday, we will be doing some writing. Uh, Thursday, we will be doing some more Mass Effect 2. And then intermingle, in, intermingled in all of that um, in the mornings and in the evenings, uh, I will be continuing to play The Outer Worlds because that game is super fun too. Um, Unlike, I'm unlikely to have time to play tonight, but hey, you never know. You never know. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I got going on. So again, thank you so much to everyone who stopped by. And just as always, my request is that as you go out into the world, uh, you just, you know, be willing to go through the effort of being kind and generous to those around you. You know, try to bring a smile to people. It, it doesn't make, oh, it, it doesn't change the world, but it changes someone's day. And if we all improve and change someone's day, then eventually that can be a worldwide phenomenon that can be good. So, 
let's do that. Um, and that's what I got. That's what I got. Y'all are cool people. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of this game with all y'alls. Um, I'm excited about it, and I can't wait to see you next time. So until then, take care of yourself. Uh, and, yeah, with that, uh, bye. Uh, it's it's time to go. It's time to say goodbye now. Uh, it's sad, but also it's fine. So goodbye. Goodbye. You guys are cool. Goodbye.